안녕하세요. 자르만더르 마르게 자르바 다르는 게다 돈스토르 바리네. I'm gonna open this fucking door and make you fall out of this car. What? I can do it. Look. Why I'm would you do, do that? Why would you do that? Why? This is I just kind of flex my my Korean look. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you just offended so many Koreans. No, it's a East Korean. It's an East Korean dialect. It's the part that's really close to China. I'm part Chinese, so pretty much I have that door to say whatever I want. But anyways, uh, what I said in East Korean was uh, we're about to go check out our house. Ah, uh, you said 안녕하세요. Yeah, that's international. Even North Koreans say that. Oh. But they say it angry. Like, 안녕하세요. Yeah. But South Korean is more polite, and then East Korean is kind of in a rush. So, 안녕하세요. Yeah. We don't have time to talk. Kind of like the, the like New Yorkers, you know? They're like the... New York Koreans. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go check out the house right now. And I'm really excited. I love seeing our house. I wish we could have moved in yesterday. Um, but today's step is we have to do a walkthrough, which is we have to go around and I think a mob already did the inspection, which means like all the legit actual like building to code, functional the things, pipes. all the pipes, electricity, water, water heater, all the uh, Chorondegis have already been approved already and so now it's just us going around to make sure all the aesthetic stuff like hey there's a big old stain on the wall or can there's a big ass construction boot print on the floor can you please take care of that so I get to go in but um, it's actually a guilty pleasure because I'm probably just going to go in there going oh it feels so good in here and I even pay attention but we have to go uh, check that out and then this is like our last kind of inspection step before the last physical thing, huh? Before that screw closes and then we can move in. Yep. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Did you see the carpet? You saw the carpet too, huh? I haven't even seen the carpet yet, yo. You haven't seen anything. I know. Just finished the walkthrough. Took about an hour and a half to go through everything. And then uh, there's like different tape marks for any adjustments. Like for example, um, there's like a little like crack or blemish so they'll fix that and what's cool is we have a fake fireplace and I like that because that piece of wood is just uh, porcelain so we could burn this forever and we don't have to worry about like uh, ash or soot or anything like that and it's still warm and it still feels good and we can all like hang out by the fireplace but we don't have to deal with the maintenance and I'm so happy about that and look it just turns off with the push of a button isn't that crazy look it's gone now. It's gone. Nuts, huh? And then uh, I found some, found out some other cool stuff about the house. So I don't know if you, Ma already showed you guys, um, but the floor is super nice. Check it out. The floor is extremely nice. It's like light colored. It's a really brightens everything up. Like the light just bounces off of it. But one thing that I really like about our kitchen is first of all, is we have six burners, which is super cool. We got big burners, we got a simmer burner, normal size ones, and then two oversized ones. And we even have a griddle. Isn't that crazy? We can like make patties, hash browns, pancakes. Uh, this one takes a little bit longer to turn on because it's electric. The other stuff is gas. But um, we can take this out as a little oil pan. So that we can uh, throw that stuff away and this is really cool because you guys know I like to cook and make food we have heat lamps actual like industrial heat lamps to keep the food nice and warm so after I make food if they can't eat it right away before I would freak out because you know like a lot of Asians like the minute food comes out hot family everyone would stop what you're doing we got to eat now a lot of moms and dads are like that now I don't have to I make the food turn on the heat lamps People can chill, do whatever the hell they want. And so I learned a couple of new things about the house while doing this walkthrough. But every time I'm in here, it feels good. I just keep imagining life in here and I can't wait to move in already. Even though we don't have a backyard yet, I can't wait. Time for another episode of Bailcast. Thanks, Nads, for setting it up. He always hooks us up. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I forgot on my drink. I got this Fentiments drink. Kind of tastes like orange vagina. Have you guys ever tried that? No, it's not a joke. I'm not trying to make a joke about vaginas that take, like, taste like oranges. Um, I thought it was going to be cream soda, but it wasn't. It's 
They were rolling. It's called the orange jigger. You waited this whole time that we weren't rolling to start vlogging. That's just like you. So we're rolling, which means you have to cut because we're wasting a lot of film. Oh, because we shoot on film? Yes. I was purposely waiting for Nas to go on that side so I can get him in frame so I can make him famous. I'm already famous. No, I was going to I was gonna help hook you up, make you even more famous. Dude, they know me for steak, dude. How else can I get more famous? Then wear, wear a steak no, t-shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Ship station. And I'm doing Skillshare. Okay. Three, two, one. Ooh. Cool. Just finished uh, the podcast, as well as uh, two story times. One is um, about the one time I was in jail, and you guys brought that up in the assumptions video. So make sure you uh, watch that one. And the second one is I recently came across old MMA footage of back in 2005 of the MMA gym where me and Joe first met at, and it was a hardcore gym, and we beat the living shit out of each other. And so I talked over uh, or voiced over it over uh, that MMA footage. I think I had two fights on there. The first one, I'm not gonna tell you what happened. You got you got to go, uh, you got to go watch. But now um, I gotta get a haircut. So I, I was I'm happy that I had enough time to um, stockpile some footage before I went to Japan. Um, because I think we're going to be gone for like a good two weeks. So I wanted to make sure I had content that was continuously still going up. And now I'm going to go get my hair cut before Japan. My hair is getting pretty long uh, up top. So I'm actually going to change it up. I'm going to cut it shorter. Because I think it's going to be a pain in the ass trying to take care of Taika while still having hair in my face and stuff. And recently, like when I've been doing all my fight training... Like the hair just gets in my face, gets all over the place. I always have to wear a hat. And even with the hat, my bangs will like sneak out. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter, but not too short. Cause I know Jill still likes having my hair like kind of long. So I want to make sure that I make her happy too. So I'll see you at the barbers. I'm at my barbers now, uh, Vin's hair salon in Alhambra. I've been coming here for years, almost since college, I think. Um, I was just looking up different hairstyles to get. And I didn't really know what to look up because I was like, well, how do, how do you look up hairstyle? You know, what, what are the names of it? So what I ended up Googling was Asian fuckboy haircuts. And I don't know why. I think I saw a meme one day. It was about Asian fuckboys. And I was like, damn, Asian fuckboys got some clean ass fades. And ironically, this page popped up with no Asians in it, but it had pretty cool haircuts. Uh, one is this guy right here. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I can... I can adapt my hair to that, but I would just want a zero fade on the side. So it's just a kind of shorter version of what I have. Um, but I think this guy needs clay and probably you have to use a blow dryer. So I would prefer something that's less maintenance. This one looks pretty easy too. It's just kind of spiky comb over. Just throw some product. That's my goal. I'm trying to get something that I can just throw some hair product and just go. And then just like, okay, cool. I'm done. So that way I can go and freaking take care of Taika. So I don't know, we'll see how my hair turns out. Just uh, finished my haircut. I think it landed somewhere in between the pictures. So it is way shorter. Uh, I got the fade that I wanted, something that's short. And um, it's way easier to comb. I did this in literally like five seconds. Obviously this is my fingers and I can't see the back, but I just threw some gel in. And then it has enough volume so it doesn't look flat. I think it looks pretty good. There's some stuff sticking out. I probably just have to use a comb or something like that. But uh, I think I'm ready for Japan. I think this would be really easy for me to style. And also, I don't have to wear a, wear a hat all the time now. Or even if I do wear a hat, my hair won't get all up in my eyes because now the hair just comes down to here. So, time to go home. Oh my god. Oh, you're wearing the thing I bought you that's so yeah. cute to me. Do you like my hair? Oh, wow. That looks really nice. Really? Looks good? I made yeah. it shorter so that it'd be easy to take care of. 
Yeah. Damn, I just came home and you came home to the salon. That's awesome. Well, it, was, it took off all my fake nail stuff and yeah. That's cute. Ladies. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? Um, the drying my nails. Oh, that looks cool. Ladies. Go with Gel X extensions. Don't get acrylic anymore. It saves your nails. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Wait, where's your mom? In the pantry. Oh, she's in the pantry? Yeah, we didn't get it. Oh my god. I thought she was hiding over there. Oh, that would have been funny too. <laughs> she's like, oh. <laughs> oh my god, she has her hand on it. Mom, ridiculous. She's cracking up right now in there. All right, fine. I'm going to turn off the camera. Beep. <laughs> okay, he went upstairs. Yeah. It is true. I promise on my son. Is that what you said? Sure. <laughs> Ma, you're dropping stuff in there. Okay, there. He's there. He put it away. Look at my hands. Look, look at my hands. Yeah, look at his hands. See, you can see both of my hands. I don't need to see my hands anymore. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. What is she doing in there? I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, it's getting about that time. Time to put this little dude to sleep. It's his favorite time of the day, huh, Taika? No. Taika, want to go to sleep? You want to go to sleep? Yeah. See? Yeah. You can tell it's his favorite time of the day. This guy is already starting to be a night owl, but actually he's really good at sleeping. Even though he says no, we take him upstairs, we brush oh, yeah, his teeth, and like he just ends up knocking out. He's a good boy. Still has Papa's jeans. Huh, mister? What are you playing down there? A little truck game? It's not even a game, just watching a video. I don't know what video this is, but he loves it. He's been watching this for like the past 30 minutes. Pretty cutie, dude. Alright, see you guys tomorrow.